think I could be a door-to-door salesman of vasectomies. Have you had your nuts chopped? I recommend you fucking do. Oh, I don't know, no, those guys don't do drugs, like, they're footy players, and footy players don't even drink booze. They wouldn't even smoke a bowl on the weekend, and they sure as hell wouldn't use clambuterol, uh, a, a product that would help them kick the ball harder, run faster, and breathe easier, and have more, more muscle and, uh, and less fat. The IFL footy player wouldn't do that. They wouldn't use performance-enhancing products to enhance their performance because their paycheck is based on their performance. They wouldn't do that. No, pass us another meat pie, Bass. Someone asked me, you're doing discount tickets for Raw Till 4 Thai Fruit Festival on June 1st, June 21st. We're doing a special offer. Uh, we're doing 20% off ticket fees for the festival. Uh, currently the price of the festival is zero, but if you book early, we'll knock off 20-30% uh, off that zero price tag. So if you book in early, uh, get your tickets for the Raw Till 4 Thai Fruit Festival. That's a lot of bullshit, dude. Eddie Merckx didn't have a power meter, mate. If you want to, what you got to do, you say, oh, I train, mate. So I don't ride anymore. That's how I used to train. You slap it in the big ring, mate. Launch it in the big dog. You lock it in the big dog. You chuck it in the gutter. You string those cunts out. And you just fucking go for it, mate. You fucking go for it. You got to build strength. If you want to climb fast, you got to focus on strength, mate. Big dog, everywhere you go. Every hill, every downhill, every fucking gutter. In the fucking big dog. If you're eating a high carb, fruit based vegan lifestyle, you're gonna be much more virile because sperm swimmers are fueled on fructose. Those guys are swimming like, swimming like felts on these 300 grams of fructose a day. So the more fructose you're eating, your swimmers are fucking like felts. Just boom, busting through the ovarian wall. Get in there. So How am I gonna get warranty on this? I agree that vegans don't get enough protein and vegans will die pretty quickly without some animal products in their, in their diet. You might get break a leg, falling off a ladder, and if you don't have animal protein, your leg will not heal, so you will die from femoral artery implosion. Another thing that's an issue is carbohydrates. Now, it's fine if you're running a marathon every day around Australia, you can eat carbohydrates. If you're not running a marathon or more per day, I would not recommend eating carbohydrates. If you're training for a marathon, you can eat carbohydrates the morning of the marathon. But otherwise, carbohydrates are strictly for Olympic marathoners on race day only. Unless you're Olympic standard, running maybe sub 220, sub 230 for women, then I would not recommend eating carbohydrates because carbohydrates do cause obesity based on the uh, fat head documentary, which was quite a compelling and informative and highly recommended for my person documentary on the importance of eating lots of healthy fats. Healthy fats and animal protein. And McDonald's is a good corporation. I used to say McShit, now I say McAwesome. McDonald's is a very good company, provides a lot of jobs, cuts down a lot of forests, which also creates jobs and creates good highways and things like that and it doesn't mcdonald's does not contribute to the obesity epidemic like i previously said also jamie oliver outstanding person in the community recently did a change.org petition saying let's create awareness of obesity and jamie's food at his restaurants he serves all the veal and the chicken and the steak the big steaks and the oil and the greasy fatty food that jamie oliver serves in his jamie's italian restaurants is actually, in my opinion, very, very healthy and very good at slimming down a nation. This is my aero bike. This is my mountain climbing bike. This is my backup climbing bike. This is my Grand Fondo bike. This is my winter touring bike. This is my TT reconnaissance bike. And this is a bike I use when I got a couple of BBs in me. You've been hanging on that team car for the last 10 Ks, bro. Time to do some pedaling. Easy, easy. Keep it smooth, easy. Up the road! Keep it smooth. Up the fucking road! Come back! Roll over him! Easy! Easy! Off the brakes, guys! We're going up a fucking hill! Hold his fucking wheel! Hold your line! Man, I'm fucking flying in the mountains lately. Yeah, he bonked, man. He bonked big time. What are you doing? Ride Magazine product reviews in. This one's called the pretzel. It's good for the glutes. Dude, I got banned from Strava. Oh, my ITB's so tight. 
Dude, I've got banned from Strava. So hungry, man. Don't shave the legs on race day. It uses up too much protein. I'm starving. You got more of this? I hate eating when I'm not hungry. I'm gonna eat four of these. What, what do I use? I use the Remington Lady Shave T20. What do you use? Sorry, man, I've got to ride in the morning. Bastard? If this plane crashes, what's gonna happen to my bike? Where is my bike? 20 pounds of bricks, man. Doing it hard. Doing it hard. Compact crank set, that's for fucking pussies. Are you riding or are you hiding? Saddle sore. Ah. Oh. Oh. Any B12 injections? Just have your plate and you just eyeball it. You have your protein and you have your healthy fats. And that's what you gotta do. Healthy fats for the brain tissue and Low fat diets, I used to promote them, but I'm actually wrong. Um, low fat diets are a cause of obesity, and uh, not your brain will basically, you'll be starving your brain of fuel, and your brain will actually shrink down to the size of a walnut because of its, uh, the atrophy, and the brain cannibalizes itself because you're not getting enough fat. What happens is you, your body will t uh, starve and cannibalize fat from your brain to feed your cells. So if you don't get enough healthy fats in your diet, from uh, especially animal sources, your vitamin K and your D2 and your, your D6 and your D8, and all those things like that. You need these things from healthy animal proteins, and it's sustainable. It, it, we know it's sustainable. I mean, we, we, it just is. What am I having for dinner tonight? I'm not having much for dinner. I don't need much food at all. Eating's cheating. I eat very little for dinner. I'm doing that ketogenic diet. Carbs? I don't need carbs, man. Nah, just eat. For the race tomorrow, just have some salad, man. That's all you need. That's all I'm having, man. I just have a salad before big race, man. I got race tomorrow. I'm just having salad tonight, man. Oh, I'm chewing salad right now. Beautiful salad, man. Tomatoes and onion. Hey, my power meter battery's flat. We gotta go back. Did thousand miles last week. Just easy. Rode my girlfriend for three hours last night. Just easy. <coughs> my one is perfectly healthy for you. <coughs> Makes it long strong. One reason I don't like doing it. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's not throat cancer. That's a, that's a myth that smokes bad for you. It actually, actually helps with your voice, mate. Makes you more mature. Now, one thing I don't like about doing it is. What's um, I was talking about? My memories are fading a bit. Oh, I don't know. Marijuana is good for you though. Helps you think. Helps me think. I can't think unless I have a have a have a bong in the morning. Wank and bake, and go back to sleep for a bit. I've got a new product coming out. I've got a whey protein shake. Um, collabing with the protein world, we're going to do a, a really good whey protein shake there because you need you know, protein helps burn fat, keeps you fuller longer. That's coming out soon. We're also doing a uh, what else have we got online? We got some oil shakes and oil for endurance, stamina, just. Instead of drinking sugar, waters, and fruit juice, you have you have your oil shakes. So stay tuned for that. Duran Riders is a branch chain, long chain essential fatty acid amino shake coming along with caprylic acid and K2 and D4 and D3.2. That's coming soon. And we're doing a, uh, a 1600 calorie diet plan as well just to get you stripped and shredded. And again, because you don't have to worry about metabolic damage or thermodynamics or whatever that stuff is because that's just all a myth. Have a good day. I'm going to fat the fuck up. We'll see you soon. Dude, I'll get some wiggle. Would you try snatch wiggle? Chain reaction? Try right kit. I need carbon, man. This is like extra 100 grams, dude. I'm gonna get dropped in the climbs. I've gotta have carbon. I ride you more than I ride my girlfriend. If you wanna climb strong, you gotta build strength. You gotta push a big gear. And just lastly, I've got some bikes for sale. So if anyone wants a bike or do a trade, I'm looking for a V8 Commodore, preferably SS uh, with a 5 inch diff. I've got to go in the city. I'm only 2Ks from the city now. I live near the city and uh, 2Ks from the city. I've got to drive the Commodore to pick up Freely's new handbag. So if anyone wants to swap some bikes for a Holden Commodore, ideally SS V8, let us know. Give me a DM or a PM or an Insta message. We'll get some revs up and get it down. So maybe Slate Grey 1991 VN VP SS Commodore. That's what I'm looking for. Peace. Because cyclists, I, I mean, I was wrong. I used to promote cycling. But cyclists, they fucking piss me off. They don't pay rates, regulations, taxes, insurance. Cyclists are fucking, when I'm driving to 2Ks to pick up my girl's handbag or whatever, or going to Macca's, 
and there's a fucking cyclist on the road, they shouldn't be on the fucking road. And if I fucking hit them, that's their fucking fault. What's wrong, babe? I told you to get me a handbag from Europe, not a fucking wheelbag. It was sweet, man. It was choice. You need coffee because it's just, it just the Mayans drank it. And, and, and crack out is good as well. I used to call it crack out. It's actually a cacao superfood. We're talking fucking superfoods here. All right? The average person doesn't get it. You need your superfoods. So we're going to put out a superfood line very soon. And people say you're going to make money off basic bitches who wear handbags or, or fucking swallow your wannabes. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Because if you buy our product, you're sincerely legit about your health and fitness, man. It's not looking, not looking for shortcuts or comforters. You want to take real action. And that's why we're going to spend big on our product line. It's not technically doping if your doctor gives you a therapeutic use exemption form. Hey babe, can you get us another gel? And is there any more of that gluten-free pasta left? If you could put some on, that'd be special, thanks. Why is it so expensive, our product? It just, it just is, because it's quality. If, it is not, if it's not expensive, we know it's not quality. All right? that's, just, that's how we know. It's just, you, if it's expensive, it's quality. You know, Freddy's part of handbag is it's expensive, so it's quality. Yeah, I always try and buy local whenever possible. Yeah, support the mum and pa store. Definitely, man. Now, those, those companies like Wiggle and that, man, they sell stuff too cheap, man. Put them out of business. So... I try and buy local all the time, man. No, definitely. It's always worth paying a bit extra. Support your local shop, definitely. You need, don't eat much. Superfoods. Small meals. Go. Burpees. Let's do it. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing up so early? Nothing, man. Just... So I started eating meat based on my 120 kilo doctor's recommendations and I'll tell you what, my cycling performance went through the roof. It went through the fucking roof. Here's a picture of what happened to my bottom bracket and my titanium frame. Titanium is very strong. Here's a picture, look at that. Snap the fucking bottom bracket, bro. First ride. This happened riding out of my driveway. I put down so much power for the bottom bracket. Crack the fucking bottom bracket. I don't have doors on my on my house anymore because when I opened the door as a meat eater, I just fucking ripped it off the hinges, man. I just ripped it off the hinges. You know what I mean? Like, superfood. We're talking fucking superfoods here. All right? The average person doesn't get it. Any B12 injections? 